the Aramites. You were given the ability to rule and be the successors to these Natiru, the Natiru, the Anunnaki, the Anutu, when they left and went home, back to Cyrus. You were supposed to rule, and he wanted rulership here. So he cast a spell on us. And religion is a part of that spell. Racism is a part of that spell. Genderism is a part of that spell. All the men and men are all right. All the women and women are all right. And that keeps us fighting amongst each other. Instead of coming together and realize we all messed up right now, we might as well come together and work to fix the problem. Overstood? That's the spell. When we talk about it again, it's not a white man spell. It's a spell of disagreeable beings and forces who have the ability to come in all shades and colors. And so now when you talk about psychotic, there's niggas that's psychotic. How do you know? Farrakhan will stand up and tell you and me he's so right and the white man's the devil but he's wearing a French cut suit. Does, does anybody see something wrong with that? Does somebody, I mean, does something about that not make sense? He's the devil? Yeah, he's the devil. So take his clothes off. Well, brother, you know, see, we live in America and no, 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 come on now. He's the devil. Take it off. And make your own. Well, you know, we're working on well, How long are you working your way towards it? Well, he's the devil that stop speaking his language. Why you speak in English? You call him the devil. Say devil in your language. Well, we don't have a language. Then nigga go get one. Why you busy calling him the devil? You can be getting a language. You see how they do that? They have us caught up in the wrong things. Overstand says, no, we are concerned with breaking the spell of ignorance. Ignorance simply means ignoring the facts. And there's all types of people that choose to ignore facts in 1998. You run into them every day. So it is usually some stubborn nigga. You tell him something, well, how he know that? Well, how the hell do you know he, how the hell you know it's wrong? Well, because that don't make sense to me. I never heard of that. There's a lot you never heard of. You understand? Some people never heard of a CD player. Does that mean they don't exist? Some people never heard of a telephone. There's people, the Amish, there's, I mean, there's people that don't know about certain things. But does that mean it don't exist? And so because you never heard of it, so it's supposed to be wrong? Again, religion. Go ahead. Um, well, help me understand. Um, I'm trying to understand how to forget the past um, maybe thousand years of history um, and the evidence that that is presented towards me. Gotcha. And I know that even though I, I think I know what I know, that they're not the truths that I need to base my my truths off of. So what am I needing to do the first thing to ignore the do. history or the facts of history okay. that's been taught to me? The first thing we need to do is realize that we're responsible for all the things that happened to us. Because they left us in a position where we were ruling. And we chose to forfeit our culture and go after everyone else's culture. We chose that. There are so-called Euro-Americans that are bringing in information for us today. But if it doesn't fall within the confines of this book, the Bible, or the book, the Quran, we don't want it. You understand? There's people writing about extraterrestrials, but we don't want to hear about that. You understand? We have to accept that we are at fault. Stop blaming everybody else and start accepting that the problems that occur as far as we're concerned is because of us. You understand? That's step one. Step two is to say, now that I've accepted that I'm at fault for the condition that I'm in, let me change it. The next step after that would be to say, do I know how to change it? And the answer is simply, no, I don't know how. So let me find someone who does. Oh, lo and behold, Pharaoh Axum Ray, he's here. Well, this guy's written over 300 plus books. And can't nobody prove nothing he's saying wrong. He might know something. Let me check him out. And he says, well, we're going to start by giving us a culture. The first thing is, let's get some nitty meetings. Let's get back to those naturals. Let's get the chemicals. Let's get our diet right. Let's exercise. Let's put the right clothes. Let's start dressing. Women say, oh man, why you gotta always refer to women as a, I'm not saying a word, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Then if we don't want to be referred to as that, stop acting like that. Start acting like ninja and then a nigga can't call you that. And if brothers say, why well, women gotta always call us lazy niggas, then stop being lazy and stop acting like a nigga and you'll be respected as something better than that. That's, those are the steps that's giving us the information so we can get our lives back in order. 
And again, up and above it all, stop blaming everyone else and accept that I'm at fault. Because this information is here. You have more books that you, I mean, if you started reading today, you probably never stop. You understand? There are people that say, for example, sitting here right now, that have questions in their head, but because they've been bred that, oh, these are proud people, they're going to all look at me, they won't ask that question, and then they'll go home still not knowing. So whose fault is it then that they don't know? Would it be the white man? No, because you have an opportunity to say, look, ask the question and get an answer, as you're doing. And to keep questioning, that's the most important step. Keep questioning. Question everything people tell you. The same way you're questioning this doctrine as taught by Pharaoh Atum Ray. Question everybody and make them prove themselves. And if they can't tell them, I'll be in touch. But I'm going to go talk to the man who can answer the questions. Overstood? Any other questions? Can you explain uh, the time lapse or the time difference? Uh, that occurred during the Philadelphia experiments. When you say explain the time lapse, right, I was reading that there was something about a four-year time lapse of time, uh, time difference that occurred because of the four, yeah, Philadelphia experiments. Four years? Right. No, you said there was a, a, an hour that was lost. An hour. And that hour that was lost is the reason why every year they have daylight savings time. One, in the summer you turn your clocks, or in the spring, an hour ahead, and in the fall, you turn it an hour back. This is because when one of the two sailors who was taken and sent back, Duncan, sent back, he was told, we need you to go back to 1943 to turn off the generator because time had been locked in hyperspace. Now, while they sent him back from 1983 through that time zone, and this is explained in the book, Man from Planet Risk, on his way back through, there were some grays that were waiting in 1947 in a side tunnel because time and a vortex encompasses all time and space simultaneously. They snatched him out and said, look, we need you to go back to that crash that just took place in what they call Roswell, New Mexico, and retrieve a thing called a shard, a crystal, because your human species is not supposed to have this technology yet. And they held him and spoke with him for one hour. So he lost that hour. That's what's being made reference to. And now if you go back and read it in the book and go back and read it in the Holy Tablets, you'll see it. Okay? Any other questions? Yeah. Any related question to that Philadelphia experiment? It says the years 1943 and 1983 happened in the same space and time. Can you explain that? Time locked. Because they peaked, if you go from 1943 and you go from 1983, that's 40 years. They peaked in 1963. Now, the brother, he's drawing it on the board. It's, it's deep. Okay? Time locked. It created a vortex. Or if, you're just, okay. if, if I'm coming from 43 and he's coming from 83, it locked. And it did this. And time stood, what you would refer to as stood still. You had a locking in time when nothing new happened. This is what was being made reference to. Overstood? Can you explain to me um, the flags and what, and what they mean over there? It'd be easier for us to say, read the book, the Nawapic calendar. Read the book, the Nawapian teacher's guide. That way you'll read it and be able to come, because we can go through each symbol and say, well, this means that. But it's easier if you read the book and then be able to come back and say, I read the book, the Nawapi calendar, and the first month, referred to as the first month, that symbol, in accordance to our Nawapian hieroglyphs, that is the letter E, or that is the letter L, or that, whichever letter, or W, or M, etc. And you'll be able to, then we can walk through the information. That'd be a lot easier. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back to um, doing um, the breeding of us human beings. Okay. Okay, um, Mother Nikki is in the process of, you know, coming up with the species, the human species. Um, I know we're like a little freak, um, Frankenstein incident, right? So, um, did someone have to carry the seed of the first 
human being on human beings in a room like a woman? Yes. As a child? And yes. And 